Look, put that water away for me. But we good though. It's like, it's yeah, like yeah. the perfect time. Uh -huh. Okay. Thank you. Wait, I need to take a sip. Alright, here we go. <laughs> um, we'll do an intro afterwards. But well, we can five. do an intro right now. Okay. Here we go. Five, four, three, two. Alright. What's tea? It's me, it's your boy Paradise in the building right now. We got the Cancel Podcast live in effect right now. We got special guests, we got Jocelyn, we got Amir Tyreek, and we got Phenomenon. We finna go one by one to try to cancel everybody. Fuck the image because right now we get into the tea. But before we go ahead and get into the tea, we gotta call in some of our, uh, some of the supporters and get some, get put on the spot. So we finna have them ask some questions about the bipolar EP release. We're, you might get put on the spot or two. Oh, we gotta call her. I was wondering, who? Hello? Hello? Wait, we getting... Oh, yes. Hey, friend, hello? The girl sounds scared, but they're calling in. Hello? Hold on. Hello? Hey, friend, hello, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, what's your name, sis? Hey, Kara, so do you know what's going on? Right now we're taking questions. You know you can call anybody out or ask questions about the EP Bipolar. Okay, um, I'm calling to ask you guys, does Joss ever want to commit defense? <laughs> 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 that was fast. Wow. Oh my God, I'm always getting called out. Um, oh wait, do I speak to that or speak to you the mic? the mic. Okay. <laughs> um, can you also, can you put it on speakerphone? Okay, I'm here. It's on speaker. Oh, it is? Yeah. Damn, wait. All right. Um, yeah, I do. I do definitely, you know, obviously I'm just working through my traumas and downfalls, but we're doing, we're doing very, very well so far. So, yes, the time will come. You heard what she said, sis? Yeah. A bunch of a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> so, thank you so much for calling your friend. What's your name again? It's Kara. Thank you so much, Kara. Love you. Love you. Well, um, so. I don't think I hate you. So then, do we, like like would you want her to come to you? Oh, is that what of you course. want? Oh, we got a next caller. Oh my god. Oh god. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hey, can you unmute um, the live in the back? Hello? Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah. All right, hey, what's your name? Samantha. Hey, Samantha, so um, do you know what's going on? Yeah. All right, so. My question is, I just really want to know how far you were. <laughs> you know what, sweetheart? Sweetheart, 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 you know. I'm Good question. Good question. You love bipolar? You love bipolar? Thank you. Um, you know what? I'm going to tell you what I tell everybody else. I'm 5'5". Five five, and we're going to leave it at that. Love you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Hi. I have a question about you. Alright, talk to me. What's the question, sis? Um, why do you rap again? Do you think you're good at rapping? Yes, that was actually a very interesting question. So, I rap because it's a passion. <laughs> And in my good day, yes. Our supporters are T. <laughs> <laughs> I love them. Yes. All right, follow my question. What's the question? Um, as a gay rapper, do you think you need diversity in the music industry? Do I what? But what? Do you yeah. face any diversity? Do I face any diversity? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, everything, every release, it's like I'm almost like having to like break down a barrier because. I'm trying to like, I'm trying to step into a realm where it's not many people like me in it. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah, it's like, it's, it's many diversities. But at the end of the day, I do it because it's a passion. So I can see you to just do me. And hopefully, you know, it takes me hard. So. Okay. Thank you so much for calling. Thank you so much for calling. In. And uh, I think that'll just wrap up the cause. My, did you see my live got banned? What? Yeah, it did. For Why? what? It's a banana? Yeah. That's messed up. That okay. was crazy. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, ladies, <laughs> it's, it's getting very hectic. Um, I don't know if she was a supporter. 
or if she was being shady. But like I said, I don't have haters. I have bipolar fans. <laughs> Anyways, um, we finna get right into the meat of everything. So before we start off, I'm gonna have everybody go one by one and introduce themselves to the people. We're gonna start with him. Wait, what was the question? Just introduce yourself. <laughs> mm. Hello, it's Ben. Here. Alright, that's, <laughs> that's, 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 that's the cookie. Yeah. That's right. your elevator pitch. Just Ben. God, this this is her first time on the podcast. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 Alright, um, you anything else about yourself or? I just graduated college with my bachelor's yeah. in criminal justice, minor in women's studies. Congratulations. Come on, Thank you. Thank you. But that's it. Yeah. Okay. All right, Jocelyn. What's up, y'all? I'm Jocelyn Morris, a uh, TikToker, model actress. Um, I do a speed dating live with these two. So you should watch it. It's funny as fuck. Very, very, very. And last but not least. Uh, hey, y'all. It's Amir Tyreek, your favorite Ivy League student, track athlete, uh, model, activist, actor, all around talented person, caregiver, personal lover, and friend. Um, <laughs> period. Give it up for the gas. Give it up for the gas. And if you don't know the name or the face by now, it's your boy Paradise, the most high talented king, live streamer, rapper, all around entertainer. And I'm here to bring you guys the heat tonight. So, uh, um... Before we dive in, don't you guys have the question? Some questions to ask for about the uh, EP release. Yeah. All right. So let's go ahead and ask them. Um, who wants to go first? If the people don't know, as of right now, I just released seven songs on the, uh, May twelfth on the EP called Bipolar. Um, my first ever project called Cause It It charted on the Apple Music Hip Hop charts in twenty twenty one. Period. And I'm just not coming back and releasing another project. Period. So. I, I can start off with a question. Oh, yeah, yeah, I I Why did you choose such a controversial? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we take your time. You take your time. So I feel tongue tied. I'm so nervous. It's the cookie. <laughs> I'm sorry. What, why did oh, you choose such God. a controversial name? Bipolar. Yeah. Um, the name was really like me expressing like a sense of uh, diversity, like through music more so than me like mocking or trying to offend people. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So like it was more so like me expressing, you know, diversity in hip hop. You know what I'm saying? Like just like a small but like, you know, bipolar. Like the bi stands for two. And like on the project I show like a more masculine and a more feminine side of my rap style. Mm -hmm. So it's mean, like okay. a back and forth polar. I love that. So that's why. And um, what would you say was your goal for the project? My goal with the project was to just highlight and to bring confidence to the community. Because, you know, like a lot of, you know, like even to women, but like being a gay man, you know, like we don't have, you know, like people always try to dim the light or like, you know, try to break us down rather than like lift us up. Yeah. So it was more so just bringing confidence to more boys like me, men like me. Yeah. I love that. That's okay. And what's something you learned when creating the EP? Oh, <laughs> I learned a lot. But something that I learned when creating and also releasing it is I can be one of my biggest critics and also like, I call it like, I kind of call it like I can be my own super villain. Like I can like attack myself in my head. Like it's like, it's like a battle with me versus me. So like it'll like slow down the process or like I'm more so like, you know, like, you know, procrastinate because, you know, get it, like, you know how I get Like just like getting to see your feelings and shit about certain shit. So would you say you were... Bipolar. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of does play a part in why I named it Bipolar too. Like it was it, like my emotions was up and high. Like some songs, like even the songs I dropped on the project, I had moments where I didn't like them. Mm -hmm. okay. Like didn't like them, didn't like them at all. But like I just released them because I feel like it was like overdue and like super long. Like I said, my first project was out in 2021 and we charted. So like it was more so like girls' time to just get back in the ring. So mm -hmm. okay. emotions was definitely Bipolar. It's gone. Period. And what's your writing process? Like, how do you really come up with, you know, such top lyrics? Um, thank you. I look at writing as a, as like a script writer will look at writing a movie. Like, when you, when you, when you, like, like, like when I come up with a song, I get a character and I embody that character. And that's how I look at it. Like, it's more so like, we you like focusing on, you know, characters and, you know, the theme of the song and like trying to, uh, like vibe with the beat and really make the beat come to life. So that's like it's more so focusing on the beat and trying to create characters. I have a question. What's the um, a lot of the girls want to know since we stream bipolar, 
you have like a very masculine side so the girls want to know <laughs> do you actually like girls you know what i think the girls are taking this this project and really running with it because the other night i'm going through my dms and a girl sent me a video of her playing with her pussy uh what the fuck well Yes, sweetheart, if you see this right now, I want you to know I don't like pussy for real. You know, the, the, it, 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 see, it was a metaphor. You know, I might want a nigga, then I might want a bitch, I'm bipolar or shit. It was a metaphor. I don't look like women. But, you know, being masculine, that's more so just, that's more so just personality. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, it's not, it's not a sexuality. But, yeah, so I don't like girls, though. Okay. Strictly daily. Okay. <laughs> Good to know. Good to know. Now, I think that's, is that cool? We gonna be on, no more questions? Yeah. Yeah. All right, let me go ahead and get into y'all team. Um, who who want to step into the ring first? <laughs> crickets, crickets. Got it. I'm gonna go I ahead think and snatch go one. first. Take me first. Yeah. And just as you said that, do Joss. I think I should do Joss <laughs> because I feel like out of all of us, well, Paradise definitely has the most on the file, <laughs> but I probably close second. <laughs> no shade on the cancel podcast. We don't give a fuck about none of that shit. So we finna get into all of that shit. So. Well, okay. So I think I'm gonna start with Finn first, my judge. You know you are the closest to me. Let me just go ahead and take Okay, mm-hmm. let's do it. Let's do it. So Finn, yeah. when you first came around, when you first came around the group and everything, you you had your eye on one person specifically. I sure did. Kids, like tell the people who was, if they don't know. I had my eye on Miss Jocelyn Morris right here next to me, sitting next to me. And no shade, when it had happened, a lot of the girls were looking at you kind of crazy because she was just recently getting out of some. Super intimate things with somebody else. Okay. So when you came about, the girls was like, "We don't trust her." You know, like she might be using jobs and then the third. So like, what was your opinions and rebuttals to like people saying like you might be using Jocelyn for the perks rather than the actual love connection? That's such a great question. But people have their opinions. But I mean. Everybody knows the story. How I met her, she was doing speed dating, and I was just going through life, mm-hmm. scroll through life, scroll through life, and I saw her, very attracted to her, so I decided to shoot my shot. I had no idea what she had going on previously. So you didn't know her prior? No, I did not know her. Jazz, yeah, do you believe that? Like, do you feel like she knew you prior or not? Uh, I I do believe it actually. I feel like I feel like most of wh- most of where I'm known is the LGBTQ kind of Side. lesbian mm-hmm. type of world. Um, not saying the straights don't care about me, <laughs> but <laughs> I feel like, and I mean, she's not straight, but like most of her, like who she goes live with, who she would go live with before and all that stuff is mostly like, it was giving straight. So mm-hmm. like, and all the, you know, the pronouns in her TikToks, he, him. So we was, so she probably honestly didn't see it, honestly. And like I said, I mean, it, it is possible. Mm-hmm. Now, if you, if you lesbian or gay or something, you saw us. <laughs> Be for real. I don't care what you get. I know you saw us at least once. So, but yeah, I probably she probably didn't. And like I said, I mean, yeah, she probably didn't. So I you love know, it. Thank you. And I, like, I'm happy that you just sat there and you brought up um, the, you know, she was more so towards the straight community with the he, the him, and who she was making videos and content with. So that brings up my next conversation with you, Finn. Um, your boyfriend. Or the ex boyfriend. Right. Let's get into it. You know, you and him you and him have you and him had a lot of moments. Um, you know, I was on your TikTok the other night, you know, just looking at your content and y'all had videos with like half a million views, like half a million likes, <laughs> and, you know, just like going crazy on the day. So uh, <laughs> my only question is uh, how do you feel about people saying that you should have took that content down after trying to shoot a shot at somebody else or trying to be with somebody else? Um, I thought that was going to be way worse of a question, but... <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I feel like... it was. I just leave it up because of the like the views and stuff. I don't want it to affect like anything. Like, mm-hmm. I'm not even going to hold you. There's no emotional connection to that individual or the videos or anything like that. It's just, mm-hmm. you know, documentation on social media. It's there. It was posted, so, like, why do I have to delete it? Yeah. And that's it. Yo, you. So, um... <laughs> so, I mean, how you feeling about all this so far? You've been um, kind of quiet over here. I believe mm-hmm. Finn is a very genuine person, and I don't know. I just believe everything she's saying so far, so far. But yeah, I, I feel like she <laughs> has like good intentions for Joss. Like she's always stated that ever mm-hmm. since we first started speed dating, ever since she came up on the live. Which I was shocked because Joss doesn't take anyone seriously on speed dating. Like you try to shoot your shot at her, she will shoot you down and say, "No, I'm just a hoe," you know, healing. <laughs> <laughs> but when Finn came up, 
it was like she was actually playing into it. So mind you, I've been speed dating for over a year with Joss. So I'm like, uh, <laughs> so is she really? Because I, I didn't even think Joss was going to be like serious about it. I'm like, so like she's playing into it. Like is she serious? And now we're here today. So mm-hmm. you know, I should have asked the question early before we had started. But who do y'all feel like out of everybody sitting right here? Is going to be the most cancelable or the easiest to cancel? Paradise. You. Jocelyn. <laughs> oh. What? <laughs> Why are you saying me? Jocelyn. Why are you saying I'm the easiest to cancel? Okay, no shade. If I'm not you in the equation, then who? There. No, no, we need to get there right now. If I'm not, if I'm not in the equation, then who? If you're not in the equation, yeah. Okay, that's yeah. me. <laughs> but the reason why I feel like is. Not because I say crazy stuff. It's more like when people say crazy stuff to me, I react. So I feel like you that do. could get me. You do react. That could get me in some trouble sometimes, but we're working on it. It's okay, girl. Just frontal love coming coming soon. He gonna get you. <laughs> frontal love developing soon. So um, you know what, Finn? I'm gonna just breeze past you for a second, and then I might come back to you later on. But as of right now, like Amir said, you're looking kind of clear, Pookie. You're looking kind of clear. We're going to go ahead. Since the girls think that Jazz is going to be the most cancelable, we're going to do you last. Mrs. Mrs. Oh, Cancel. I already knew I was going to be last. <laughs> <laughs> I, you was trying to go around it, but I knew who was going to be last. <laughs> I knew it was going to be me. So, Mr. Tyreek. Um, <laughs> Mr. Tyreek is sick. <laughs> Can someone hear my phone? Mm. Uh, oh, I got you. Oh, you have the oh, you have a file. <laughs> oh, he has a file in his phone. So, um, <laughs> remember, Ivy League student. So. But you know, that, and that's fine. That is, that, is, that is totally fine. You know, hopefully, hopefully you don't get uh, that, 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 yeah, school messed up for that. But, yeah. Um, <laughs> let me go ahead and start with you. So, uh, Mr. Tyreek. Yes. Go ahead and just give us a little breakdown about your journey on the internet before I go ahead and dig into your teeth. Um, I started YouTube in the eighth. No, seventh grade because I really wanted to find an outlet for myself because I was always so scared to like be who I was. Mm-hmm. So I found like going to YouTube videos and like making just dumb videos were my best option. And then I made YouTube videos up until tenth grade. Like so from seventh to tenth grade I posted twice a week, just every day like just consistently every week, over two hundred videos on my channel. Of mm-hmm. uh, just like me being down with my friends. And then I started running track, so I stopped doing YouTube as much, but then like COVID hit, so I needed another outlet and I found TikTok. So from TikTok, I started doing reaction videos and making my own content. Then I went from 6K to 15K mm-hmm. to 30K. Then before I met Jocelyn, I was at about 50K. And then from there, I got on speed dating and it's just been up since then. Period. Um, management, uh, sir? Is the TV West Hollywood? Yes. Thank you. Um, so, <laughs> oh, not shit on the so, TV. Um, oh my God, please. So, <laughs> what type of uh, what type of men do you like? Um, <laughs> I don't really have a specific type, but I usually like in Philadelphia. You really only got a bunch of black men, so mm-hmm. that's like where I'm usually scared to work. <laughs> Wait, you said scared to work? No, no geared, she's geared towards. towards. Oh, geared to work. Okay, so um. Okay, like, oh, but do you see the code or? Yeah, I see it. Oh. I'm, you know. I'm just so, sure. can you like, like, what's like, like, is he big, buff, skinny, slim? Like, describe his fit. Uh, who? The man, <laughs> your man, any man, you know. Like, any man in general? That I was no, that's who, yeah. Um, like, I, your dream man. Dream man would probably be taller than, not taller than me because I'm 6'2", so it mm-hmm. really doesn't matter. If you pull this man up on the screen, <laughs> um, telling me um, a little buffer, and yeah, just like he has a good personality because at the end of the day, looks is like one thing, but like if you're like dumb, then what am I gonna do with you? Mm-hmm. Like I need to have like intellectual conversation with you. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. You know it's crazy how you said looks is one thing, and you had a lot to say about somebody else's looks. Um, so this is what we're gonna do. Uh, Wait, what? This is what we're gonna do. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Is it? Did it connect? Hold mm-hmm. on. So, the few recently you just had an encountering with uh, a social media icon, um, and of course, so that many may know, you had a lot to say to her, <laughs> and it was it was all surrounding her body and the way she's built. So let's take a look. Anything with OBCD. Oh, I just got to tell you. I bet you started your ABCs with OBCD. Oh, I just got to tell you. 
the video is way the video is way longer than that. You know, okay, we like okay. it was it was clips. <laughs> it was clips of you talking about her roles. It was clips of you talking about you know how big she is and standing the third. So a lot of like like a lot of the girls are looking at you as you know body shaming and fat phobic. And I was. <laughs> Um, if if we all know this creator on the screen, that is Miss Terry Jo. And with Terry Jo, you have to pull out all the stops. And she, right before this, she called me a crack baby. Okay. Oh. So okay. therefore, I had to go in my repertoire of fat jokes and pull out one of them, and I used it against her. And did it eat? Yes. And I would do it again twenty times over. And I did it the next day also. Oh. Mm. So I wouldn't say I'm quite fat phobic or you know have anything against, but. When you have something to go at, you just exploit it while you can. So mm -hmm. I totally good rebuttal. Good rebuttal. Good good rebuttal. Good rebuttal. So it was more so it was more so like a defense tactic rather than an un like uh, unprovoked. Yeah. Yeah. It was it was definitely provoked though. Oh okay. <laughs> she called me a crack baby. <laughs> 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 I had to get my look back. Uh, I got you. Uh, fair enough. Jazzy Boo. <laughs> and then, like. If y'all didn't know him, like, would y'all feel like this man deserves to be canceled for with the things he said? No. Um, I, I watched the whole thing. You watched the whole thing? And Terry Joe. Was on his ass. Know, Terry, well, I, I think Amir ate it. Ate it up. Because <laughs> after this, Terry Joe left. <laughs> Terry Joe left a lot. Yes. And we love Terry Joe. But, you know, he had to, Amir had to, you know, he had to, he had to clap back, bro. Yes. So, you know, gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, um, well, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and let's move around with Jocelyn Morris. Oh. <laughs> so exciting. Morris. So go ahead, let's tell us about your your internet journey, Pookie. Like, just refresh us really quick. Oh, this man. Is um, so... Dang, where do I start? Okay, so well, I think almost a year and a half ago, I <laughs> went through, like, a situation ship breakup. Mm -hmm. So I was obviously hurt. And I started, like... I, from that, I was like, you know what, I'm going to, instead of focusing on this, I'm going to focus on TikTok. Mm -hmm. So I was just posting every day, posting, and I, I met someone on online, and we were both like, oh, we should do this live, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And so we did the live, it's speed dating. Uh, at first, it was just lesbian speed dating. And then as time was moving forward, we decided to no longer do that anymore together. And I decided to open it up to LGBTQ speed dating, because I felt like... You know our community. Can I stop you, Pookie? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So I love how you. I love how you so smoothly. You know, just brought up the, the split. <laughs> this is the split. You know when it was really a a super a super messy split. Not really. Not really. It wasn't. It wasn't. I feel like it wasn't messy on my side. I feel mm -hmm. like I kept it. I was chilling. Like I kept it cool, calm, collected. I have said the same thing throughout the time so mm -hmm. i don't think it was messy on my side like it was more so like well well i'll let you say okay. what you to say no no, no, no. You can. <laughs> well okay okay so um so why were the re like like what was the reason of the split again so the reason for the split was was well this is what happened mm -hmm. we were on we were on live we're doing our thing and uh, to be honest with you i didn't want to split you from, didn't? from this person because one of the things, me as a person, I'm very, I'm a very loyal person. Y'all, y'all already know how I am. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? If I rock with you, I rock with you. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I did rock with that person, so I was like, I didn't really want to. And so she was, uh, she was like, like we were going live, but she wasn't really talking. Like she would like be silent throughout the whole live and stuff. Right. So I had called her. I'm like, hey, like, are you okay? What's going on? And I was, I even told her like, you can take a mental break. And we can come back and do it together. Like it's no big deal. Like, I just want to make sure you're say. fine. Yeah, because I was just I was worried about her in general. Because at the end of the day, we were friends at that point. Yeah. So then I was like, "Are you good?" And she was like, "She said she said she was good. Everything was cool." Mm -hmm. So I was like, "Okay, cool." And then a couple of days later, a little bit later, I don't know the exact time, but because it was so long ago, but it was right. like a little bit later, she went on her Instagram live. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my god, I'm scared of like. <laughs> Right, right. She went on her Instagram live, and <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my god. Okay, anyways, but so you want to continue, or do you want to play this? Roll, roll, the, roll the clip. Roll, roll the clip. Let's see what he has to say. Well, well, I didn't get to finish. 
finish though. Oh, we, I, no, I, I, I will let you finish. They said roll the clip. Okay, let me just finish. Real Go quick. ahead. So basically, she went on live saying she didn't want to be known for speed dating. The speed dating wasn't going to go anywhere. And she said that she just didn't want to do it anymore. Mm -hmm. So I was a little bit, I felt a little bit, I don't want to say disrespected, but I just felt a little bit like, okay, like off. No, anybody would feel disrespected. Because to me, it's like you have my phone number. Mm -hmm. Like we have each other's phone number. And like, it's not like, like that's like me going on Instagram live and being like, well, she's not talking on the live. She's not talking on the live. Like, are you good, bro? Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I called your phone and asked you if everything was okay because I don't want no business out there of yours. Right. So to me, it's like, if you didn't want to do speed dating or you felt like it was going to go anywhere, you didn't want to participate anymore, instead of going on live, you could have called me. One -on -one. And that was my issue. And mm -hmm. that's the only issue I had. And it wasn't even an issue. It was just like, okay, well, damn, okay. So then after that, I just, I like, just didn't talk to her again. We think, that was so, it. Let's, so let's see, let's see. Yeah, let's, let's okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, hold on. You was a nobody. You had no views. Wait, run it back. It's like Jocelyn. You was a nobody. You had no views. Okay, because because without those people, you they would. You, Wait, are, are are those people she's talking about? Who are the people she's talking about? Uh, I mean supporters, maybe y'all. I don't know exactly. I really don't know to be honest. So the new cause. Yeah. Well, I don't think. So. Okay, well maybe. You not be a nobody, and I'm gonna tell you this. I don't care what nobody says, but if she's not doing speed dating or me, people are not gonna watch. Her really watch her. I mean, I do be noticing a lot in like in her like TikTok lives. Like people be like, "We're stud at, we're stud at." <laughs> I know Wait, because people be saying that. I've never seen it. <laughs> I saw it. Honestly, I saw, okay. To be honest with you, when we first when we first, but the thing is, okay, people obviously are gonna be nosy on TikTok. Mm -hmm. So when we first stopped, yes, people did say that at first, but it wasn't because of. Okay, like I said, that's her friend. So I'm gonna just. You know, I'm not gonna say nothing about her. That's her friend. She's just gonna ride for her friend. But I have not seen her name come up in the lives in I don't know how long. I've never seen it. Have you? You guys are on there. Have y'all seen? It? I have not seen that. Me personally, my um my story of meeting you was kind of similar to other uh, fans. Like like you probably my for you page. Like like I didn't know you prior, and I came across that situation in the heat of it, like around this time. In. No, yeah, but I'm saying like. So I yeah, but do I see her name? No. No. Okay. That's, yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. No. Do you? Um, once I started like a year ago, they were saying, you said you had another post. I've never even seen the girl. So I'm like, who is she talking about? Maybe she's lying to me. But then I looked up your name and I saw y'all speeding together. But mm -hmm. ever since then, I did not see her name. Like, I would see like here and there, but it was never like, oh my God, where's, where's Stud? Like, we need her. Like, yeah. And then I watched, mm -hmm. no tea, no shade. I watched some of y'all lives together. Let's just say people don't compete where they don't compare. <laughs> Let's see what else she had the other yeah. she had to say. It's funny as fun. Like, you know, everybody loves my, you know, I don't care if I was a trolling ass bitch. <laughs> I was funny as fuck. You feel me? Where? So it's not like the same without me. And it's like, and it's like, I don't, it's like, I wasn't even really vibing with her. So, you, you know, I just stopped coming to her lives or it's, you know, her being my co-host or me being her co-host, it was just nothing. She just, you know, she's a little bit weird. I don't give a fuck. She's weird, and I would never. Oh my, she had a lot to say about you. Yes, a lot. She, um, she would cool. never. You know, I did, I did see this. I did see this. this, and I also saw other lives as well. She had talked about me. Thankfully, Paradise hasn't done none of those. Um, <laughs> but I did see this, um, and I chose not to respond actually. Huh. You know, that's that's very not becoming of me mm -hmm. because as you know, and actually it's crazy because a person that, uh, well, someone prior in my life who's no longer in my life now, but she stopped me actually from responding to this because mm -hmm. I was going to, I was definitely going to respond. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so shout out to her, I guess. But um, yeah, it, it, it sucks. I'm going to be real with you because to be honest with you, I don't have any issue with her and I still, you know, at the end of the day, you know, we created something amazing together, mm -hmm. and it's unfortunate that she feels this way. But like I said, I didn't do anything. You mm -hmm. chose to leave. You talked crap about speed dating, and I said, okay, well. And like I said, we had each other's number, so she could have called me, told me this if she wanted to. Like we had each other's number, so it's like we literally just literally. I saw the live of her saying, because my, mind you, be be for real. If I went on live, I was like, you know what? F speed dating. Speed dating is lame as hell. Fuck speed dating. Like it's not gonna no, go nowhere. No, would you want to co-host with me, with me no, after saying I just, that? No, I just told you like, like, cause you had said earlier, like, um, I don't want to say I felt disrespected. No, anybody would have felt disrespected mm -hmm. because if a bitch went on live talking about a bitch talking about um, your music can't go nowhere. 
Bitch, I smacked him in person. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like anybody would have felt disrespected. You know, it's it's just like I said. Like to me, I was just like, okay, well. To me, I'm not, I don't want to part because I believe y'all know how much I believe in speed dating. Y'all know mm-hmm. how much I love speed dating. I think it's it's such a powerful thing for this community. Y'all don't even know how powerful it is. Mm-hmm. And like I said, it's 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 changing things. Like I'm telling you, so many people are starting to do speed dating. So many people are starting to bring shows with L- lesbian LGBTQ people onto the mm-hmm. media. It's gonna change a lot of things. And at the time, I don't think she saw it, but I feel like at the end of the day. You know, all those words that she said, I, I proved her wrong, and I don't yeah. know what she's talking about, but, you know what I'm saying, like I said, I, I let it go, but it is it is what it is. Like Period. I said, I didn't I mean, do anything, so like, I'm really not tripping. Period. But. Now let me say back in. I love how you said you didn't do anything. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, why is it, though, all of these people... Uh-oh. Surprise me. A bully loving another bull. All these people just have something to say about you, you know, just so unprovoked and just so quickly on live. You know, I'm, I'm just, we're confused. As the people, we're confused. Hmm. You can, like, show yourself out of my live or I can block you. Oh, my God. I don't support anybody who supports Jocelyn. Mm-hmm. I go in there to collect people. Collect people? And give them a safe space. <laughs> Not a negative one where people allow others to bully, let alone Jocelyn herself, who bullies the shit out of people. Oh my god! What? So you know what, actually? Sunshine, I'll take care of you myself. Okay, shout out to the comment that said you sound like a hater because you're absolutely correct. Um, yeah, she had come on our live before, but I'm gonna be real with you, I don't bully anyone. I would never bully someone, but to be honest with you, is my comment section a little wild? Mm -hmm. Yes, it is a little wild. I'm not gonna lie to you. You know what I mean? And honestly, there's really, Um, unfortunately, we, I don't know why, but my live, like my supporters, we all, like all of us, like not all of us, but like the comment section, all like, it's like my comment section is like everybody just, all the wildest people on the planet yeah. mm-hmm. all decided to love and support me. <laughs> and it's coming to my life. I just want to say, at the end of the day, you chose to come up in front of 2,000, 3,000 people and put yourself on display for whatever they got to say, for whatever they got to do, for whatever they got to do. As, like, co even, I'm sure we all, like, people yeah. say stuff about yeah. us on the line. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Like, I get talked about my nose, my forehead, I'm my a, hair. I'm a mop head. I'm a mop. <laughs> like, literally everything. And, yes, some, some of them do be bullies, and that's not okay. But at the end of the day, like, we can't control over 2,000, 3,000 that, people. Like, what are we supposed to do? Bro, but that's what I'm saying. saying. Like, I feel like people be, like, trying to put it on me. They're like, oh, did it, Jocelyn, this, and Jocelyn. And I'm like, okay. I'm gonna be real with you. Put two thousand people in a room and try to but, try okay. to tell me to do something. Okay, but like, okay, you know, thank you. But we keep on highlighting the like 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 the two thousand part. Like at the end of the day, you cannot control one person's opinion. Yeah. If you don't like me, you will never like me, and that's fine. Yeah. But I don't. So, think, I don't think I'm. I don't like. I don't think. Like I said, I would never bully nobody. I've never bullied nobody. But I think it's like the comment section is a lot. But like I said, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I, there's nothing really I can do about it. And like I said, I love my supporters, bro. Like I said, they ride for me. They going. They pulling up to the live. And, you know, obviously what I love for it to be all peaches and roses, yes. But like I said, and also some of the, most of the time, most of those comments probably aren't even around, like the real supporters. They're probably, there's mm-hmm. trolls that come in there all the time. Like, mm-hmm. like mind you, we have a very popping live. Like, we have, like there's a, this live got 2,000, 3,000, sometimes I've had 5,000 people in there, 7,000 mm-hmm. people at one time. I've had that at one time. So people are going to come in there and BS. You know what I'm saying? People are going to come in there and talk crap and, and do, do stupid stuff. So it's like, what can we, like... You know what I mean? Like, yeah. there's, there's a lot of trolls. We get trolls in the live all the time. You feel me? Like, a lot of it is just trolls. People that randomly come in just to be funny and try to be stupid in front of 2,000, 3,000 people. It's really like live yeah. TV. Like, what are we going to yeah, do? Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? So, like I said, I don't know about that one. So, uh, speaking of your supporters. Okay. Um, oh. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> speaking of your supporters, uh, a lot of people have been super interested in the love life of Jocelyn Morris. <laughs> um, can you explain... Like, how your love life is right now? <laughs> like, how is it going for you? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> or how has it been in the past? More so. More how has so it been speaking. in the past? Yeah. Okay, yeah. well, the past hasn't been so good. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's been a little rough for me. 
you know i i think that yeah it's been honestly it's been the one area in my life i just feel like has been just the roughest it's been hard to figure out i really don't understand what was really going on so mm -hmm. yeah it's just a lot of just like a lot of pain a lot of heartbreak a lot of it's it's a lot leaving me leaving me for the people d despair to see cheated like this is a lot of just towards me so i don't know right oh my god i don't know what what was going on with that but you right know, it is right. what it is um so out of your memory, who was like one of the first little like girls they tried to put you on with? Like try to ship you with? Ship me with? Mm hmm If you can think, can you think? <laughs> <laughs> if not, I'll definitely help you out. Oh no. <laughs> but that's just it for me to help. Oh. Um, ship me with? Yeah. Uh, um, I, you might have to help me out. I'll help you out. So, okay. Pookie, um, we had a few from my memory. Uh, oh. The first one that I can really just sit back and think about is Miss Ari. Oh, Lord. So, um, Miss Ari, uh, Miss Ari, Ari, Ari. So, remember earlier you had said a special she spoke you out of doing something? Yeah. Can you confirm or deny? Was it her or not? Deny. It, it was wasn't her. Was okay, so how long were you and Ari so called talking for? I I think like a couple months. Should I just call Ari? No. no just... <laughs> uh, a couple months. So what was the reason this ended? So you know, Girl, my I my because here's what happened. Basically, as as many people know, why the reason why I have stayed away from literally everyone from women from just trying just been like no da, 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 to everyone it's because i have a lot of trauma and like a lot of like i don't trust people so you know and that's fine that's fine yeah. but you know we, we the people haven't seen you know a pattern you know like it's like it's you know it's like it started to become a trend mm. you know new girl new month <laughs> new girl new month new girl new jobs so yeah <laughs> um pokey bear uh the most recent one was one of the most craziest, long-lasting situations that we have encountered. Hmm. Um, go. Can you, do you feel comfortable speaking of her? Oh, that's cool, I'm here. All right, cool, so you, uh, you started off, actually, you started off really good with her because, uh, let's, like, let's put it there, actually. <laughs> you started off really good with her because you, like, you were taking her on dates, paying for the food, doing everything you're doing right now for Phenomena. And out of nowhere, wow, this is really things just went left. <laughs> <laughs> no, this burger look good. <laughs> Ooh, that burger was not Get into the mukbang. Get into the mukbang. I go back home. As soon as I go back to my house, I'm gonna buy some chicken. Just kidding. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let me, let me. I'm gonna take a bite, but then I'm going back to my fries because that is what I'm offering. Oh my god, this actually looks so good. It does look good. So, ladies, I didn't get a specific clip out of this, but you're Thank lucky. God. But, sweetheart, um, if you have not seen this video, so on my YouTube channel right now, check it out. Now I'm trying to promote check it out. video. But, um, Jaz, like, you were in this video feeding her, uh, you know, happy, lovey, oh dovey. Mm -hmm. And then, I don't know where it was like, <laughs> the rose died. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. What, what caused the roses to die? You know, I feel like. I don't know. I feel like, to be honest with you, I feel like, she, I feel like, she didn't really like me mm -hmm. type vibe, um, and you know, we were we were friends before, mm -hmm. so I think you know, obviously, damn, I don't know how to say. I don't know. We were friends before, so we were cool before, and like I said, I just you know, I had like asked her out or some shit at a party or something, mm -hmm. and it progressed from there, but. <laughs> I feel like she just didn't really she wasn't really feeling me or whatever or maybe it was too soon I feel like she wasn't over her past relationship which is fine yeah. um so yeah I mean just just unfortunate circumstance for that okay so, so friend of friend moment hmm? <laughs> did you friend of friend moment friend of friend moment so uh did you didn't you speak about didn't you speak about on live didn't you speak on live about what you had said to her did it, did that, that, don't the people know? Yeah, so basically, no, they don't know, to be honest. They don't know what you say? They don't know what I, well, some people do, some people don't. 
Mm-hmm. So the people who do now. <laughs> people who do now. So the people who do know. Um, do you feel like what you said was kind of cancelable? Mm. I don't think so because I feel like like I think it was a rebuttal for the situation because I I felt like. Can you say what? Can you say what you said? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, basically, okay. Here's my, here's my thing. Okay, because uh, I need to go into the, my mindset at this time because, mm-hmm. like I said, I really liked this person at the time, at the time, and like I said, I felt very frustrated because I wasn't really sure. Like I feel like she didn't like me, but she like I was asking her, "Do you like me?" And but she really didn't. But she wasn't saying like, "No, I don't." Like mm-hmm. I feel like she was kind of like just stringing me on the on the low. So when I was like when I was on a trip. Like, right. she wasn't calling me. She wasn't, like, really checking out with me, saying nothing. So, I was getting really, like, anxious. And, like, so, you know, I low-key, I don't want to say acted out, but, like, I low-key just got a little, like, what the heck. I, like, I had, like, I, like, blocked her. I was, like, hurt, mm-hmm. whatever. And then she had called me, like, she just called me, like, yo, did it, like, I don't want to say yelling, but low-key yelling, like, just, like, going in on me. Right. And, but every time I would try to talk, she kept hanging up in my face. And this happened multiple times. So what did you do? So I was like, okay, you doing me like this? Cause I treated her very well. So I was like, yo, yo, you not you doing me like this? But she wasn't, you wasn't giving old girl this same energy when, you know. When what? Stuff was going down to y'all. <laughs> Got it. You know we love a water down. <laughs> we but love I mean, water. to be honest with you, should I have like should I have said that? No. But at the same time, it's like don't play like why are you playing in my feelings? Mm-hmm. Cause she was playing my feelings. I always 100%. said you should have said it, but we have two different mindsets. Like from what we we was on the phone with talking about, and the way she was talking to you, mm-hmm. I thought it was a perfect response. I personally would have took it farther. That's just me. That's just me. No, like Don't she, like I'm telling you, like, like I said, more power, more power, whatever to her, whatever. But it's like. The like the whole situation like like I'm a very sweet person and I don't, don't do that type of shit but it's mm-hmm. like if you take me there I'm gonna go there you right. know what I'm saying and it's like the way she was talking to me the way it was handled it was like okay and to yeah, like I said she was playing my feelings she was playing with my emotions right. and that's not cool and like I said let me go ahead and grab you up real quick okay go ahead mm-hmm. so uh, <laughs> so you know it's crazy because this was like one of those experiences that I was actually there to witness kind of oh. like crash and burn a person. <laughs> Um, so do you feel like, do you feel like, do you feel like everything ended that night? No. Or me? Obviously not, because I know what you ended. might pull up. Everything, you don't think everything ended that night? What do you mean everything ended? Like, like, is that when things took a turn? The, was that when things took a turn? For the people who don't know, um, everybody really does kind of know, though, like the situation. I well, because I told you, them, you, because yeah. of the message she sent. So yeah, I, t- I, I, I yeah. did say it on the internet. So, <laughs> like, what? ladies, we have... <laughs> Um, us actually going to uh, <laughs> her door. Oh yeah, no wait. I don't want to put that because that's her crib. All right, I just not on here. I, but still though, I think they could tell though. No. I feel like they could tell. I'll though. leave the audio and not have the picture in the fair. Yeah, that makes sense. I'll leave the audio. What well, you were saying, Dolce? Yeah. Oh lord. Let's go say Dolce, bro. So y'all, it was like about some time last year around in December. Hold on, we not. You said Dolce. <laughs> Wait, did she send you a thing? Yes. <laughs> no, it was hilarious. She ate, she ate herself, Loki. No, with the bonnet on is crazy. It's like you're exposing yourself with that bonnet. A great thing on me. Don't say it. Oh my goodness. Okay, no. Nah, for the people who don't know what's uh, being played right now, so basically, her and Jaz got into like. It was like, I don't know, it was like they were just mad. She was mad at her for some reason. I forgot why, honestly. But I guess things weren't right. So Jaws ended up going to her crib to bring her flowers. And we went back to her crib and she got mad. So she sent us the recording <laughs> of the ring doorbell us knocking at her door. And it she got a- even madder. <laughs> Yo, she was pissed. But I mean, I tried to apologize, but I mean, or I tried to like make amends to the mm-hmm. situation. Cause I felt like okay, you know, it is what it is. Like we obviously had an argument, whatever. So I tried to make amends. Obviously, like I know now why she wasn't with it. Cause like I said, she got back with the with the ex mm-hmm. from like before me or whatever the fuck. Mm-hmm. So it's like I know now why. Cause they were talking. Like they were, they were talking. Like I pretty much after that they were talking. Mm-hmm. Wait, the, never mind. I'm, I'm connected with the mic. Yeah, you're connected <laughs> with what I'm saying. So yeah. So 
at the time now I understand because like to be honest y'all like to be honest the argument that whatever happened between us the argument it really it like it was like mm, but it really wasn't that serious like it was one of those arguments where like you know somebody doesn't want like you like they they want to get rid of you type shit yeah like it was like okay she finally did some stupid shit like mm-hmm. she finally did something and like now I can like like she needed something she needed something to to get an exit to, to get an exit out and like that's what she used and then she like blamed me for it mm-hmm. I was like no it's your fault it's your fault but it really wasn't she just didn't like me like that's what I'm trying to say like this girl never liked me like that's serious and it's okay like I'm not mad at her for that I would never be mad at someone for not liking me that's life that's how how it works I just feel like she shouldn't have like. Low key, cause I feel I low key feel like played, but it's okay. Like it's okay, okay. I have one question. Mm-hmm. Phenomena, do you feel like you're the next to try to get an exit ticket? <laughs> <laughs> do you feel like you're the next? No. For those of you guys who like watch the lives and stuff, you guys know that it's not be. And everybody knows that. And I told like you know I told her welcome to death row. I ain't going nowhere. But but to the public eye, you guys are not officially right. No. Mm. Joss, why didn't you answer that question? I mean, it was a y'all question. No, I do have a question though. So, out of all of the women who have survived Jocelyn Morris, (laughs) (laughs) wait, hold on, (laughs) wait, what the fuck? Who? I'm the one that's surviving. Who was y'all's favorite, or who is y'all's favorite? Oh, the us, our favorite. Yeah, and be suffering. Are you included or no? Are you included? Yeah, I'm included. Okay. Oh. Well, you. Top three. Wait, 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 wait. But you, but you said her, but why? Um, I've always said that, like, Finn was so genuine, like, when I first met her. And she just had, like, a good personality and, like, going through. At first, I was like, I don't know, because the supporters was coming at, with, at me with stuff, like... I don't, I don't think Finn's genuine. I don't trust her. <laughs> and they said to me, like, she likes men. Like, she cannot be trusted. You need to get Joss out of there. And I'm like, Joss is a grown-ass woman. Like, what the hell am I going to do? But then, as Finn kept coming up, and as I, like, got to know Finn more and got to talk to her more, like, she's so genuine. Like, like just the prayers she does on live and just the way she talks to people. And I actually cried on live with Finn. And I don't cry a lot, but a lot. Yes, I do. But not with a lot of people. And I don't know. It's just something about her aura and her personality. Like, even when I met her, like I said, her aura was, like, so sweet and so, like, welcoming. And we just hugged for a minute. So, I don't know. I just felt like if it wasn't Finn, it would be Ari. Because I felt, like, a positive vibe from her, too. Like, it was just super genuine, like, super caring. Like, it's like a sister vibe. So, if I'm going to be honest, uh-oh. Ari was my least favorite. Least? And it's not because... Or not even least, but I didn't like her. Okay. Mm. If that makes sense. But I didn't have a reason not to like her. She was just boring to me. Okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> like, 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 you know how, like, you can't date somebody that's boring because it's like, girl, I'm not going to be with you for 30 plus years type shit. Like, <laughs> boring. like, that's what she gave. Like, I didn't see Jazz, you know, just being, you know, it was weird. It was boring. Yeah, no, I get the same vibe from Ari. Right, like, she's the more, like, calm, like, mm-hmm. marrying 40 years, you know. But I feel like with Finn, she has that, like, calm, nice, like, loving side but she also is like you know, let's go to a party let's get lit like let's mm-hmm. pop out let's make an appearance and i think it's like if we're gonna have a balance of both so mm-hmm. then you're my fave so who's your fave paradise yeah. my fave phenomena why? what oh, oh. why really? where is they what no I, I i was like i thought you was gonna be a little more like like uh like crazy. you said it fast like, no, <laughs> like, not. but i did no what i had been like what i had been noticing though is um, you're doing a damn good job <laughs> Because Is that I, I got a job? Are you doing a job? <laughs> Wait, what you mean? Like they're getting better and better. Like like I see them, <laughs> I, see them I see them working for you, Pookie. I see them working for you. Like I did fuck with I did fuck with Ashley. I didn't fuck with I saw impress I fucked with for real. But I think because I met her. Yeah, because you met her. And she oh, like likes it. But she even was before really I met, cool. She was really like cool. But even before I met, yeah, yeah. phenomenal. Like she was cool to be like cool too. Mm-hmm. Like I love Phenomena. She's so, it's like a grown woman glow. I keep on saying that. She has like a grown woman glow. She's super mature, but also like can be the life of the party mm-hmm. and super supportive and to everybody, not just you. So it's like, it's really cool to have like, you know, you know. I fuck with you. 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 So, um, uh, yeah. So before we go ahead and everything up, you know, I don't want to just, you know, be super messy. I want to give everybody their flowers. So we're going to go ahead and start with Phenomena. Phenomena. I want everybody to say like something like positive, like one good thing about everybody before we leave. Okay. So phenomena. I love how talented you are. Like being able like a voice of an angel. 
Like that's crazy. Like like being black is singing and write music like a gift from God. So I love how talented you are. I'm pretty. Um, Jocelyn, I admire your consistency. Mm-hmm. Like me, like 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 I know how hard it is to like just get back up and like do this shit every single day, and you do it every single day. And if not every day, you try your hardest to do it every single day, and we see that. So I admire that about you. Appreciate you. And uh, Amir, I love how I love how supportive and how there you can be for everybody, and how you just bring something different to the table. You know, it's like it's like it's like the puzzle wouldn't be complete without you, Bill King. Um, then go ahead, go next. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna start with Amir. Hi. Amir. Hi. You're just a beautiful soul. You're very sweet, very kind, very gentle, very, very smart as well. You know, you're doing your big one at an Ivy League, you know, as a young black man, getting your education, running track, which I love that as well. But you're just great, you're very, very animated. <laughs> You're very animated, great personality, and you're just Thank such you. a delight to be around. Thank you. Jocelyn Morris, I value as a woman, you know, I value, you know, your ambition, your consistency as well, uh, your personality, how you're just 110% yourself, you know, people try to, you know, mimic your behavior, mm-hmm. but you're just natural and everything comes naturally to you, and you work hard, um, and everything that you've worked for, you, you deserve it. You deserve everything else, like the world. Thank you. Paradise. <laughs> you are one of the most <laughs> funny people I've ever met in my life, just naturally. Um, and I like that we've been able to, you know, connect mm-hmm. um, on, a, on a musical level, you know. Mm-hmm. And I really value you as an artist. Um, lyrically, you're phenomenal. Like, your music is, like, is really, really good. And mm-hmm. it's going to take off, and you deserve it because you work hard and you're consistent with it and yeah you're just all of you guys are really amazing thanks you know, that was so nice <laughs> yeah. that was so nice <laughs> okay jocelyn the floor's on you can i like skip no i'm just kidding <laughs> <laughs> just kidding uh, i'm gonna start with paradise a bookie butt um like i said i'm just so proud of you and everything you're doing especially in the rap world i don't rap obviously but i know how hard it is for especially gay men to even get in that world so i'm proud of you for even just just for even stepping your foot in there it's not easy and i'm proud of just how strong you've been and like you kind of like me we just really don't give a fuck Mm -hmm. so i just like that you still like doing your shit and like you posting you do whatever and you post your music you do whatever you rap you do you say whatever you want you do whatever you whatever you want and i respect it because like I said, it's not not easy at all. So I just admire you for that, for sure. You have a lot of strength and courage for that. Amir Buki Butt. Hi. My first gay man ever on this feed dating. Look how far we've come. Been <laughs> um, <a year. laughs> right, it has it. Um, but yeah, I just want to say how proud I am of you. You know, finishing your first year of college. When I met you, you weren't even in college yet. So seeing how much you've grown and like just hearing about your life experiences as it's happening is so nice. And I'm also proud of you just for everything you do as well. You know, still being a full time athlete college student and you still pull up on live still want to be there still want to have fun you bring so much energy i know for a fact me personally <laughs> when i was an athlete and i was in college <laughs> i'm not going on anybody's fucking life <laughs> so i i think you have you just so amazing for that and i'm so grateful especially to both of you guys because like i said you know the speed dating is great but you guys make it just that much more special so you know i i love you guys more than anything you know I know you, you know, we butt heads sometimes. I will die for you. Literally. You know, you. <laughs> Don't play with the room, literally. <laughs> Please. Um, a finema. My bookie beer butt. Oh. Butter biscuit. Butter biscuit. Um, <laughs> had to add some there. Uh, I just want to say congratulations on graduating. That's number one. Thank you. I just want to say that you are so talented. Like you have one of the probably the best voice I've ever heard from someone I know personally. You know, I feel like I hear voices like that on the radio, like on my, like, on like mainstream. So I just think you have such a gift and such a talent, and I'm excited. I'm excited to see where it takes you. To be honest, and I, I really want you to tap into that and and sing your heart out, girl. Um, <laughs> I also want to say I appreciate you for 
just everything you've done, you know, for me, being so kind to Amir in Paradise and also supporting the live as much as you do, I feel like, you know, you've definitely made your mark in that way. You know, you, you really support the live and you support us and just everything you do is just amazing. And I appreciate you for just being so caring for me and um, being patient with me. Cause I feel like, you know, I've been through a lot and I feel like you understand that and you try your hardest to accommodate and to try to like, like you like you remember that, you know what I'm saying? And you take it that to account. So I really appreciate you more than you know. Aww. My <laughs> turn. <laughs> Get so, me out of here. So, what are you gonna put like, like the, the you know, like the the title on it? <coughs> I'm gonna do it right here on the spot. No, I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> um, they are gay. Oh gay. my god. They are gay. That would be the best episode in the fucking no, history of life. Do, do it for a clickbait. Do it for a clickbait. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Okay, that's the clickbait. Are you done? Oh yeah, I mean, we're gonna, we're gonna, right. we're gonna figure uh, it out. Um, I'm gonna start with Finn. Uh, Finn, I honestly think your mother was like perfect in naming you because I feel like, like you, you light up the world. Like, I feel like you could take over the world if you wanted to. Like, you're so educated and you're so beautiful. Like, and your aura just shines through everything you do. Like, like even now, like this is the type of person you are is like what the world needs more of. And like, I'm just so glad we got close. Sorry, it's car beep. I was like, what? I'm just so glad we got close and like you met Jocelyn and even came full into speed dating because I, I feel like God sends like people through like different things and I feel like He sent you through the speed dating. So I'm really glad we met and I'm really glad we could connect on like track and you connect with like literally everyone here, you know, connect with Jocelyn, your level, connect with Paradise and Music, meet with track in college and I don't know. I feel like you just like round us out, which I just enjoy it. Um, who's next? Since it's your podcast, I'll do you last. Um, <laughs> Jocelyn, I've said it since I've been on speed dating last year. Um, literally, after you let me co host, I wrote you a long paragraph. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and I was just so thankful because, like, I never really had like someone to look up to that's like really about their grind and really about their business. And I say it all the time, I look at you as like a mentor because you are a mentor. Like, you have helped me so much through, like, everything like I could call you just when I'm in need like in college like I could cry with you and I don't know I look at you as a big sister because yeah I have other sisters but I feel like you just like fit me perfectly and like, I'm glad I like the speed dating came on my for you page because I feel like without you like I look you probably when I got through my first year of college and I'm just like all genuine like that speed dating really helped me like just clear my head from schoolwork from track like whenever I wasn't doing well so I really appreciate it and I appreciate you so love you and last but not least, Paradise. Um, Paradise, I just want to say, if I was you, I would be so cocky. Like, you <laughs> have so much talent and so much, like, passion and drive for everything you do that I would be the most cockiest person in the world. Like, you're, you can rap, you're funny, you're beautiful, like, you're smart, you're talented. I just think that, like, the type of person you are and the type of person the world gets to see is, like, so amazing. But, like... Once they, like, get to see those layers of who, like, Paradise really is and, like, what he gets into and his, like, meaning behind life, it's just so beautiful. And I think, like, everything you do is so amazing. Like, I will forever support everything you do. Like, even if we be- not become cool, like, in the future, not saying we will, well, we won't, yeah. yeah. But, like, oh I, was, <laughs> <laughs> I would still support you because, like, I see your work ethic, I see your drive, I see your determination, and I just see you going so far, like... I see you being like one of the biggest artists in the world and I'm not just saying that because we're friends like I genuinely see how hard you work for everything you do and w- with bipolar I listened to it and none of it was like anything you ever heard like you everybody like to rap about sex and pussy and drugs and shit like that you rap about what you feel and none of it sounds the same like every bar was different every word was different and I think you're going to be really memorable in the future like thank you Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, all of y'all. Where did I go? I went first. You went. Okay. Did. <laughs> so, go um, yes, 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 yes. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Y'all finna have me cry on the first episode of Hot Ass. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm playing, but um, no. Uh, you know, after everything was over and everything has been said, you know, Mrs. Bipolar, Mrs. Angstrad, Mrs. Canceled, you know, I feel like you guys shouldn't be canceled. You guys show the human side of you guys today. 
And I think my judgment is out the window. Maybe I shouldn't have had you guys on the cancel podcast. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But I thank you guys for coming through and being here. And we're going to end this off the right way. Um, DJ, can you please help me out, Puck Pookie? Make sure y'all stream bipolar out right now. I think we, we should all hug. I think we should end it with this video. You know what? <laughs> I, I purposely <laughs> Thank you. got one. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> all right, good uh-huh. job, guys. And that's a wrap. That was a good episode. That's gonna. You know, I'm not gonna lie. Gonna and you know, I don't know what I was gonna do when I got in here. I don't know how I threw that together made it look so smooth, but I just started throwing shit on the screen. It went well. <laughs> it went very good. Thanks. You did it, Yeah, you did. Okay, it was fun. Okay. So, how do I get the footage? <laughs> Uh, so yeah, uh, you can bring a hard drive next time, uh-huh. or no, yeah, yeah, just come back and bring a hard drive. Come back, hard drive. Yeah, come back. You want to go? Should we do this right, like right now? You want right now? A hard drive. A hard drive. Just go. You want to come back? I have one in my house. You want to go all the way home and come back? <laughs> you can come back tomorrow. You want to come back tomorrow? You can come back tomorrow. Or should I get a hard drive for myself? Oh. Unless you can send it to me. You can get a hard drive for yourself if you Do want. Yeah, yeah, probably okay. best because if he sends it to you, it's going to be a very large file, so like 100 mm-hmm. gigs. So it's best to you to have on you know, hard drive, and then you can add it from that hard drive. Mm-hmm. And then however you want to compile the picture. All right, Pat. Thank you. So we'll come back with a hard drive. Oh so, my God.